I finally invented it. What is it? How does it work? Here is a permanent magnet motor or not. Why do I say that we are really, really close to a GUA to get a permanent power? If you are new, imagine. I'm a mentor and researcher in the field of new and renewable energies. First of all, let me explain it to you with a 3D model. This is a motor whose main source of energy is a permanent magnet. But how does it work? First, take a look at the magnetic piston, which is made of neodymium magnet, connecting rod, crankshaft, cylinder, pulley, belt, flywheel, generator, electric circuit, capacitor, sensor, neutralizer, steel core, and foundation. Its main energy is produced by the absorption of the iron core located on top of the piston by the magnetic piston. Well, after absorbing and moving the piston and generating energy, when the piston reaches the top the center, the sensor detects the position of the piston and the electric circuit by the capacitor activates the neutralizer and the piston is released from the neutral core by the inertial force of the flywheel and it reaches a bottom dead point and the sensor deactivates the neutralizer according to the position of the piston and reabsorbs the iron core of the piston and this cycle is repeated. Now let's test it with a real model and we return to the 3D model and additional explanation. This is a cylinder made with a 3D printer. All parts are made of plastic so that the magnetic force does not interfere with the movement of the component of the part. Only the main shaft is made of iron which I will replace with aluminum shaft. This is a simple neutralizer with a steel core. You can see that the magnetic piston attracts the steel core and turns the crankshaft. And when the magnetic piston is locked to the steel core, the neutralizer will push it back in an inner stand. This test shows you exactly how the neutralizer work. This is a switch that I use for the piston position detection sensor. And this is really mini 12 volt. Not here, that's when the neutralizer is inactive. This is the force that is produced when the piston is attracted. It may not be very noticeable here, but this is the first prototype and I will definitely upgrade it. Wow, it's work great.
This is not a solenoid engine, making no mistake. Half of the engine energy comes from the permanent magnet and iron core, top of the piston. When it is completed, I will make a video and fully explain all the construction steps. When the engine is turned on, power is transferred to the generator, to of the belt and pulleys. And the generator starts to generate electricity and charge the capacitor. And a cycle is created. A continuous cycle. But is the energy produced equal to the energy consumed? Well, 50% of the engine's power is produced by the electricity. And the other 50% is produced by the attraction of the core, iron core, by the magnet. And if we consider the generator power as 100%, we need to use 15% of this 100% for energy return. We reduce about 20% half it for waste and fraction, leaving 30% of it. And this 30% can be considered the output power. Well, back to the real prototype. This is the first prototype and it needs to be upgraded because it is very important in the operation of the engine and the energy waste stage. And this prototype just proved to me that it worked. But the torque of this engine is not enough. It has a lot of friction and waste energy. And uh, that's why I didn't connect the generator to it. I plan to make a high quality prototype that has really low wastage and uh, friction. And then I will show you its construction is full details. Let me tell you one thing. I'm a researcher. If you have been with me since I started with my YouTube channel, you will have noticed that I have tried my best to make a new energy community on YouTube a reliable one. And I'm not a fan of bragging uh, or making fake video to get more viewers. So you have to be patient. There's a real step of turning an idea into a final product. And finally, I'm waiting for a comment. I will answer all comments. Be sure to write your opinion. As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.